In this video, we will demonstrate how to apply the shear formula to a simple rectangular beam. Let's consider a rectangular beam with a base dimension of B and a height of H. If our beam is subjected to some transverse loading, then the cross-section will be subjected to an internal shear force of V. To determine the distribution of shear stress across the height of this cross-section, we can apply the shear formula to calculate shear stress at an arbitrary height of y. First, let's write the equation for shear stress. So that is the shear formula is tau equals to vq over it. So for this problem, v is constant. And for our beam, the cross-section also does not vary. So i and t are also both constant, which means that these three terms are constants, which leaves us with q, which varies with y. Remember from the previous video, we derived an expression for q where q was equal to the integral of y over an area of dA prime. And this was simplified to some y prime bar times a prime. Let's go down here to where we have a cross section of our beam. If y was where we wanted to calculate our shear stress, then the fraction of area sectioned at y we called a prime. We can then let y prime bar be the distance from the centroid of the sectioned area to the neutral axis of the section. And q is just the product of these two values. We want to quickly note that if we use the other fraction of area, in this case, the area below the cut of y, and the corresponding y prime bar at the centroid of this area, a prime, this should yield the same value for q. So let's go back and calculate q. If we consider the portion of area above the cut at y, so this portion in red, the height of a prime is h over 2 minus the y, and the width is the width of the base, b. Multiply together, this is the area a prime. And then y prime bar, which is the distance from the centroid of a prime to the neutral axis, it's simply y plus half the section height, which was h over 2 minus y. So this term is y prime bar. We can simplify this to We can then move on to the moment of inertia for a rectangular section. The moment of inertia, i, is equal to 1 over 12 base times height cubed for a rectangle. Next, we want to find the width of the cross section where we want to calculate our shear stress, which is called t. And here, t is equal to b, which is our base dimension. Now that we know all the values of the unknowns, we can substitute them back into the shear formula to solve for the shear stress tau as a function of y. So writing that out here, we have tau equals to vq over it. And then we substitute all the terms above. v is constant. Here's q. i is 1 over 12 base height cubed. And t is equal to b. This simplifies to. Note here there is a y squared term, which means our stress distribution is parabolic with respect to y. Now let's move on to draw the shear stress distribution across the beam section. The 
cross-section is symmetric about the neutral axis, so the distribution should be mirrored about the neutral axis. We write in the expression for the shear formula we found earlier, tau equals vq over it, which in this case for the rectangular beam is 6v over bh cubed, h squared over 4 minus y squared. It's for the rectangular beam. This is the side view of our beam at the top fiber, which is right here. We measure y from the neutral axis. Then at the top fiber, y is equal to h over 2. Substituting y equals h over 2 into our equation for tau, This term inside of the bracket goes to zero, so our shear stress is actually zero. And due to symmetry, shear stress at the bottom fiber, which is at y equals negative h over 2, should also equal to zero. So here tau equals to zero, here tau also equals to zero. At the neutral axis, y equals zero. And this should be our maximum shear stress, so tau equals to tau max. Again, substituting into our shear formula, y is 0. And we can simplify this to 3 over 2 v over bh. b times h is a, so we can further simplify this to 3 over 2 v over a. We want to note that tau average is simply v over a, so we can say that tau max 1.5 times tau average for a rectangular beam. So in summary, for a shear stress distribution, tau max occurs at the neutral axis, and the shear stress varies parabolically over the rectangular section.